Hey family, welcome back to Life With Them. Before we get into today's topic, I would like to thank Boo Box for sponsoring today's video. Postpartum is never the easiest thing to go through for new moms. That is why Boo Box created a selection of boxes that caters to the everyday needs of a new breastfeeding mom. From breast care and pain management to milk collection and everyday essentials. Be sure to check out the link in the description box and use our code Life With Them for 15% off of your purchase. Hey guys, welcome back to Life With Them. My name is Sierra. If you're new here and you enjoy family lifestyle videos, make sure you scroll down, hit the red subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell that is right on side of it. Today, I am gonna be sharing a part of my exclusive breast pumping experience and journey with you all. I am super excited to share the pumps that I use because if you're gonna be an exclusive breast pumping mama, you have to have the best of the best pumps. Getting the best pump is so, so important for your journey because if you get the wrong pump or if the flange size isn't the correct size, all of that can affect your experience and your milk supply. So I'm just gonna be sharing a little bit of tips here and there as I talk about my journey and my pumps. If you're interested in that, stay tuned, give your girl a like, give your girl a comment down below and let's get into it, all right? so. I use two pumps. You can have a successful journey with one pump, but I use two pumps because I am a mom of three, okay? My two oldest children are boys, and y'all know how boys are. They are always on the go, and I knew that in order for me to have a successful journey this time around, I needed to have a pump that would allow me to get all of my milk out. I need to empty my supply each and every time. And I need to be able to be hands free. So the very first pump that I purchased, child, I wasn't even two months pregnant yet. <laughs> and I purchased this pump was the Medela or the Medela Pump in Style with Max Flow. So, I already knew that I was gonna get the pump in style because I used an earlier version of this pump for my last pumping journey. And that pump has been discontinued. Unfortunately, that was the best pump. It looked like the cheapest thing on the market, but it really, really helped my supply. I didn't have any problems with it. I pumped for an entire year with that pump, and I even passed on the pump, not the flanges or the bottles or anything, but the actual pump because it's a closed system. That's very important. Um, I passed that on to another mama and she was successful. And at the end of her pumping journey, it was still working. This pump has pre-programmed settings so you cannot change the speed or the suction on this pump, all you can do is go slower or faster and it has a letdown button if you would like to have a longer letdown or you know encourage a second or third, however you're going, especially when you are power pumping. That letdown button is very, very helpful and important to have. So I use this pump and I am not gonna go into details of everything that comes with this pump because the video will be entirely too long and I don't want you guys to get bored and it's connected to two bottles. I'm gonna explain why I have one of the flanges to be this oval shape and this other flange to be this horizontal shape, I guess. If you have, you know, perkier breasts, you can use this. And if you have, you know, fuller, wider breasts, you can turn it to this side. So it's real easy, all you gotta do is just turn it. What I love about this pump is this is my primary pump, so it stay plugged in the wall. Because nobody got time to be carrying this upstairs, downstairs, kids room, my room, Sienna's room, nobody got time for all that. 
So I keep this pump plugged in. I pump about eight times a day and this pump actually empties my whole breast. I do not have any clogged up problems when it comes to this pump. So my secondary pump is the Free Me Independence 2. I only use this pump when I am on the go or if I'm cooking or cleaning and I need my hands, but I really need to pump. It comes with a clip so that it's easy for me to clip on my clothes. And when you clip it, all of the settings will be upside down, which is good when you're looking down and so you don't have to unclip it, turn it upright, and then press it. So all you have to do is look down, press number one, number two, all of that. So let's talk about the settings. You turn it on because you charge it, just like you charge your phone with a USB. I love that. It has a suction setting and it has a cycle, which is the speed setting. So it is separate. If you wanted to do a high suction and a low speed, you can do that. And then they have three, three options at the top for you to, let me cut it off, that's distracting. It has three options at the top for you to save your favorite settings. Let's talk about these cup sizes. So it comes in a standard 25 millimeter, but let me show you what I have. I ordered these little inserts from Amazon so that it can tailor to the size of my nipples. I will leave the information down below. So I am gonna be honest and say that if I am gone all day and I have to use this pump more than two times, it will not empty me all the way. And the reason for that is I produce a lot of milk. So I really need a good suction. And I'm finding that one here, it has a good suction with all of the settings. And you know, like I showed you all that, you can tailor the suction from the cycle, but it hurts. So just because it can go to a higher setting does not mean that it's better for your nipple. When I have clogged ducts, I will just come home and I will get it out on my primary pump, which is why I told you this stays plugged in in one spot so that I can go sit down and pump. At first, in the beginning of my pregnancy in the first trimester when I purchased this pump, I was only gonna stick with that pump because in my last exclusive pumping journey, I only had one pump because I was a newly stay at home mom. But this time around, I have three kids and I'm on the go and I got things to do. I can't just stay home, I can't just stay in one spot. So I had an upgrade for my pumping style pump that came with a portable plug-in and it's battery operated. Well, what I found was this isn't very comfortable on the go. And if I'm driving and I have this on and I'm turning my wheel, cause you know I'm short, so I sit up a little bit closer to the wheel than most people, um, this would get in the way. Whereas it's discreet, I could just pump. It doesn't go anywhere, it fits in my bra. So that is why I purchased a secondary pump. And that is how I have been able to have a successful journey thus far. I truly hope you all enjoyed me sharing a portion of my exclusive pumping experience and journey with you all and some of the tips that I was able to share. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section below. If you love these videos, let me know what other types of videos you would like to see from me and to see from me and Sienna and to see from me and my family. We would be more than happy to produce the, that type of content for you. So if you like this video, give us a like, comment down below, make sure you have joined the family. We have a lot more content that is coming your way in 2022. And follow us on all of our social medias. We'll chat with y'all soon. Peace.